It only seems like yesterday when you sat next to me on that settee in the cellar, gave me a big snog. Uh, several big snogs, actually. Up until then, I couldn't stand you. Yeah, and you let me know it. But then you handed me that bottle of whiskey. Got to admit, I've got style. You blicked my eye mask. Saw your beautiful eyes. Couldn't help myself, could I? You were bored and lonely. Well, I'm bored and lonely now, babe. I mean, if you any idea how much I miss you. I miss you too. I'm driving Mum up the wall. She says all I ever do is go on about you. Well, that can't be a bad thing, surely. Uh, she says she's going to come and visit when her hip's out of plaster. Well, that's good, right? In person? Oh. <laughs> You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Do you know that? Ditto. Even if I am talking to an iPad on a mannequin dressed up as a superhero. Look, I've got to go. She's ringing a little bell and I still haven't found a shower cap. Call me later. Bedtime. Right. Because now I've not got paranoid thoughts, I've got room for other thoughts, such as handcuffs and superhero outfits. I love you. I love you.